It's time for the Fishing and Full-Time RV Show with your special host, Merlin Jr. Follow these two as they reel you in for some fishing tips and answer your questions for all you RV tubers out there. So let's get ready for the show. Hey folks, welcome to my new show. It's called Fishing and Full-Time RVing. I'm here with Junior and uh, what are you looking at? <laughs> And we're excited about our new show. Uh, we're going to be talking about the two things I love to do. And guess what they are? Fishing and full-time RVing. Right, Junior? <laughs> well, anyway, uh, you sent me some questions. I'm going to answer them. And I'm excited about that. So here we go. Uh, the first question comes from uh, Tom from Tennessee. He's like, uh, what, what got you into full-time RVing? Well, <laughs> it's kind of a long story, but uh, I'll shorten up for the show. Basically, my wife and I, we were in uh, Pine Tree, Texas. We had a home there. And uh, we decided to move towards the west, right? Well, my buddy Jim did a little investigating. And uh, he was uh, looking for a place where there'd be a lot of red... What? Scooter's here. <laughs> here you go, Scooter. There goes Junior. Well, he did a little investigating on places where there'd be a, a, a lot of rednecks. And uh, he said there's a lot here. So we moved here. And uh, I haven't seen you, have you? <laughs> well, anyway, uh, so we bought one of those condominiums, right? And uh, they say you own the inside, but you don't own the outside. What? <laughs> well, we weren't uh, digging that. So one night, my wife and I were sitting at the table. She looks at me and she says, Hey, Merle, what do you think about uh, selling the condominium and buying an RV and living in it full time? I'm like, well, <laughs> sweet. <laughs> So, we got on old Craigslist, and uh, I wanted to look for a pre-owned one, and we found one, and so we bought it, straight up, and with cash, so we owned our own home, okay, and it took us about two months to sell that condominium. So the next question comes from uh, Tony, uh, he's in uh, Toronto, he says, hey Merle, uh, should I live with my relatives? They got a place for me to park my RV and a hookup. Well, we moved in with our relatives <laughs> on a little uh, acre of land. And I'm going to have to say, absolutely not. Okay? Uh, the first time your septic uh, bubbles up in their toilet bowl, it's time to go. <laughs> <laughs> so, after that incident, uh, we decided to look for a piece of land that we could uh, park our RV on. Okay? Because, you know, we want to be settled and everything. So, we get on the old Weber net and uh, start looking around. We find this acreage out here near the coastal foothills, okay? And it's got a creek going through it, as you can see, for some fishing. I'm going to be fishing for some trout later. So, we secured it and we moved our RV out here. And it is beautiful, okay, folks? I'll tell you that. So I, I wouldn't live with my relatives, okay? Uh, next question comes from uh, Tony in Tennessee. He's like, uh, hey Merle, he's like, uh, can I save money full-time RVing? Well, <laughs> of course you can. Oh, looks like Skeeter wants to go again. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so yeah, you can save a lot of money. Let me just throw some numbers at you, okay? So, say you got an $1,800 uh, mortgage payment, right, on your house. And you got to pay it off in 30 years, right? Well, <laughs> you probably won't stay there for 30 years, just to let you know that. Right, Scooter? Yeah, she ain't going to talk. <laughs> so, uh, oh, there she is. Go right out there. So, $1,800 is a lot of money, folks. So, look at it this way. Say so you got lot rent, right? And uh, you only pay $600 for that. That means if you take $1,800 minus $600, uh, you've got $1,200 to put in savings, okay? Tuck it away underneath your bed. Uh, you know, uh, put it in the bank, whatever you want to do, I don't care. But at the end of the year, uh, you've got $14,400. Whoa, <laughs> that's a pretty good little savings, right? Well, you times that by 10 years, and you got $144,000. You're one of the chosen ones. <laughs> <laughs> or you could have paid on your mortgage payment for 10 years and paid the bank $216,000. Whoa, <laughs> that's a lot of dough. <laughs> 
So as you can see, uh, I think full-time RVing is the way to go. You can save money. You can have freedom. Yes, we had to downsize, uh, but we went from uh, 3,200 square feet in Pine Tree, Texas, to 2,200 square feet in the condominium, to 250 square feet in our 28-foot uh, Jayco uh, Eagle. Hey, folks, this is the part of the show I talk about fishing. Uh, let me show you some of the gear I use. My rod of choice is going to be a Daiwa. Okay, it's graphite. <laughs> and the reel is made by Abra Garcia with six-pound test. Um, I tried some of this. Where'd it go? There it is. Berkeley power bait. Uh, and the trout weren't biting on that, so I just used an old-fashioned worm. Okay. Uh, I've caught five today, and one's a keeper, and it's going to be dinner, so let me show you. <laughs> there he is. Oh, Junior tried to bite him. Watch out. There he is. Hey, I want to thank you for stopping by, checking my video out. Uh, leave some questions below that could be featured on the next show. And just remember, folks, it don't get better than this. Catch you later. <laughs>